Hey guys, it's me, Ingenierea. Before we start, I just want to apologize for not updating my YouTube channel because I was too busy preparing for the upcoming board exam this May. But due to high cases of COVID, the board exam was cancelled again. I know most of you guys are disappointed and sad about the announcement, but it's for our safety. It's still a good thing that we continue reviewing at least we are prepared when the time for the board exam. To all of the students, never stop learning and never give up. As you can see in the title, in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys about another topic under surveying. The topic that I'm going to discuss is all about the balancing of troubles. So, let's start our discussion. Balancing of traverse is balancing the latitude and departure of a traverse attempts to obtain more probable values for the locations of the corners of the traverse. We have two common methods in adjusting the traverse. First is compass rule and the second is transit rule. Compass rule, the correction to be applied to the latitude or departure of any course is to the total correction in latitude or departure as the length of the curse is to the length of the traverse. The formula for the compass rule is for latitude we have correction of latitude of any line is equal to the length of that line over the perimeter of the traverse times error in latitude. For departure, we have correction of departure of n line is equal to the length of that line over the perimeter of the traverse times error in departure. Transit rule, the correction to be applied to the latitude or departure of any course is the total correction in latitude or departure as the latitude or departure of that course is to the arithmetical sum of all latitude or departure in the traverse without regards to sign. The method of adjusting a traverse by the transit rule similar to the method using the compass rule. The main difference is that with the transit rule, the latitude and departure corrections depend on the length of the latitude and departure of the course respectively instead of both depending on the length of the course. The formula for the transit rule is for latitude we have Correction of latitude of any line is equal to the latitude of that line over the arithmetic sum of all latitude times error in latitude. For departure, we have correction of departure of any line is equal to the departure of that line over arithmetic sum of departure times error in the departure. The example that I'm going to use is the same as the example from my last two previous blog which is area of closed traverse. The example is, a parcel of land has been surveyed in the field and the lengths and bearings of the various sides are shown. As you can see in the shown table, we have already the latitude and departure. By the way, for those who haven't watched my blog of the latitude and departure, you can check the link on the description below. Back to our topic, in this example, when you solve the summation of latitude and departure, there is a little error. When you got an error, you have to balance the latitude and departure using transit rule or compass rule. In this example, I'm going to use the transit rule to balance the latitude and departure. In our problem, we have already the following. Error of latitude is equal to 0.03. Error of departure is equal to 0 0.05. Total latitude is equal to 189.11. Total departure is equal to 225.55. The latitude of line AB, correction of latitude is equal to 35.62 over 189.11 times 0 0.03. The correction of latitude line AB is equal to 0 0.006. The departure of line AB, correction of departure is equal to 
48.06 over 225.55 times 0 0.05. The correction of departure line AB is equal to 0 0.011. The latitude of line BC, correction of latitude is equal to 27.61 over 189.11 times 0 0.03. The correction of latitude line BC is equal to 0 0.004. The departure of line BC correction of departure is equal to 64.74 over 225.55 times 0 0.05. The correction of departure line BC is equal to 0 0.014. The latitude of line CD correction of latitude is equal to 66.93 over 189.11 times 0 0.03. The correction of latitude line CD is equal to 0 0.011. The departure of line CD, the correction of departure is equal to 37.30 over 225.55 times 0 0.05. The correction of departure line CD is equal to 0 0.008. The latitude of line DA, correction of latitude is equal to 58.95 over 189.11 times 0 0.03. The correction of latitude line DA is equal to 0 0.009. The departure of line DA, correction of departure is equal to 75.45 over 225.55 times 0 0.05. The correction of departure line DA is equal to 0 0.016. We already computed the corrections in each line of the latitude and departure. Now let's proceed to compute the new value of the latitude and departure. Note, if the error is positive, the correction will be negative, and vice versa. For the latitude of line AB, 35.62 minus 0 0.06 is equal to 35.61. For the departure of line AB, 48.06 minus 0 0.011 is equal to 48.05. For the latitude of line BC, negative 27.61 minus 0 0.004 is equal to negative 27.61. For the departure of line BC, 64.74 minus 0 0.014 is equal to 64.73. For the latitude of line CD, negative 66.93 minus 0 0.011 is equal to negative 66.94. For the departure of line CD, negative 37.30 minus 0 0.008 is equal to negative 37.31. For the latitude of line DA, 58.95 minus 0 0.009 is equal to 58.94. For the departure of line DA, negative 75.45 minus 0 0.016 is equal to negative 75.47. We have the corrected value of latitude and departure of each line. Next is, let's check if we balance the latitude and departure. The first is to get the summation of latitude by adding all the corrected value.
As you can see, the summation of all latitude is equal to zero. This means that we already balanced the latitude. Let's proceed in balancing the departure. As you can see in the summation of departure is equal to zero. This is the end of our topic for today. In short, balancing of traverse is balanced by applying corrections to latitude and departure. In the case of the closed traverse, the algebraic sum of latitude and departure must be equal to zero. Word exam may be cancelled, but always remember that God has perfect timing. Never early, never late. It takes a little patience and a lot of faith, but the results will be the worth the wait. That's it guys. I hope you guys learned something new about this video. If you have any question about this video, just comment down below or message me through my Facebook page and I'll try my best to answer it. Stay safe to everyone. Thank you for watching it. Bye!